Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This video is all about the cost of living or retiring here in Thailand. And we're starting at Big Buddha on the hill. And I'm going to take you all around Pratamnak and show you some of what it has to offer. Now, if you decide to come live here, while we have a chat about what it will cost you to live here. Now, I've just done a chart. Now, if you have a good look at it, you can pause the video. I'm going to repeat it a couple of times in the, in, in the video. But it's quite a, a truthful chart. It actually is, is my own personal expenses to a great degree. So I know it's absolutely spot on accurate. Um, <clears throat> and, and we can gradually work our way through. I mean, one of the things about Prasamnak, um, which is just sort of, it's in, if you don't know, it's in between... Um, Patia Center and Jom Tien. Uh, one of the things about it, it has actually has a. You see that where that car's coming out of? That's a, a walking, running exercise track which runs all the way around. Uh, if you're wondering, you see across the road over there where that white van is coming down the hill, that is the way up to the viewpoint which I've took you to uh, uh, in the last couple of videos ago. And this is Pratamnak Road which runs between the viewpoint and Big Buddha, which you've just seen. Uh, now, if you want to drop down to Pratamnak, you drop down to the right. Now, the, 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 main, the main three roads are Sai 4, which is just coming up on the right, down here. You can drop down the hill, that'll, that'll take you down to Pratamnak. And then after that, uh, where the big 7-Eleven is, is Soy 5, which is the main Soy, the main one that runs down to Pratamnak, and which is this one coming up just after the 7-Eleven. And then the next one is Soy 6. Uh, and we're going to do Soy 6 because there's three things I want to show you on Soy 6. Uh, and uh, and basically, uh, we're going to have a s ha start having a proper chat now about where you want to live. I mean, the thing about Pratamnak is that it's accessible for the centre of Patti. Uh, for Walking Street, it's a, a matter of five minutes on a motorbike or a, or a bolt taxi. Five minutes, no more. Uh, and also, if you want to go to Jom Tien the other way, again, it's very quick. So we, we're just going to turn right here and drop down the hill. Um, this is Soy 6, and it, they meet at the bottom, three, uh, 4 and, and 5 and 6 all meet down at the bottom, which is where we're going to go afterwards. But before we go to the bottom, I'm going to show you the sauna bar, which has become very popular recently. Uh, it's basically got a big swimming pool, and then it's got... Um, cold pools, hot pools, uh, saunas, steam rooms, jacuzzis, all that stuff. Interesting. Uh, and it's just down here on the left hand side. Um, so we're going to stop there, we're going to have a go and have a look inside. It's very cheap to get in. It's, a, 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 it's an entrance fee, but I mean, f for what you're getting, it's peanuts what they're, what they're asking. Uh, so we'll just go in here and have a look. Uh, you're going to enjoy this. <laughs> You'll see what I mean when you get inside. You're going to enjoy that. Uh, I, w I don't know if she's staff or if she's uh, a guest, but um, I saw her inside afterwards. Anyway, well, let's go inside, shall we, and go and see what see what uh, they have on offer. Just wanted to ask you what facilities you had here. Huh? You have, yeah, I know it's two in the bar. That's not what I mean. I mean, you have a swimming pool, and you have a sauna. Yes, we have swimming pool. Yes. Hot pool, cold pool, sauna room, steam room. And jacuzzi. Jacuzzi. We have food. We have drink. Jacuzzi. Jacuzzi, no. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Everything else. Oh, 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 have you it. have, you have jacuzzi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You have everything you okay. want. Looks good. And it's 200 baht. 200 baht. For all day. Include, yes, including one stop drink. 
say again? Two hundred baht, including one soft drink. Oh, and one soft drink. Okay. Okay. Very good. Right, and two people is 300 baht, yeah? Okay. Right, okay. Right. Great, okay, thanks, I'll come back. Thank you very much for your help. Okay. Lovely. <laughs> right, we're going to move down and I, I'm going to show you the uh, where the market is and also we're going to look at some condos. Uh, and, and we're going to go through the price of the uh, of everything you see this is you see how cheap it is to live here you see if you if you 200 baht a day for the pool and all the facilities um, the market here we're going to have a little walk around the market um, just to show you the food there's a food section and there's a like a, 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 a clothes and what have you section so we're going to have a little look at the food section unfortunately they were playing Christmas carols and obviously YouTube will uh, w w would would make a problem so I've had to mute the, the entire scene in the, in the market shame such a shame really because they were playing very nice Christmas carols but what can you do you know you know YouTube I like <clears throat> so well, let's have a look through the food here and let's just also have a little chat about the costs of food I mean if you want to come here and you want to like eat in uh, proper restaurants every day it's going to cost you a lot of money you come somewhere like this or or little thai restaurants it costs you next to nothing i mean you, you look at that chart and see what price you've got for food i mean on the chart uh, i've put ten thousand baht for food for the month and to be absolutely honest that's way too much f for me because i cook and I go to the market and I buy food and I go to uh, Big C and what have you and buy, buy chicken, buy uh, pork, whatever and uh, and cook. And, and it costs me maybe half of that. But then I've spoken to other people who don't cook and they say, oh yeah, 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 I spend like probably about eight or 10,000 baht on food. So I thought, okay, I'll be fair and I'll put it in at 10,000, even though that's not the case with me, but it is with other people. So... <clears throat> Not everybody cooks, of course, or enjoys cooking like I do. So, um, you know, we have to be fair, all right? Um, and things like soft drinks and what have you. I mean, I put it in 1,200 baht, um, which is one big bottle of water a day. Um, that's just for water to keep hydrated. I mean, obviously, if you're going to be going out and drinking, not beer, but like soft drinks, then yeah, that will that will be extra. But we're, to, we're talking about a sort of a, a basic minimum costing here, which is what I'm trying to trying to get down, you know. Um, now, uh, we're going to go, after the, after we go to the market, we're going to go and look at a condo. Uh, and, and this, the condo we're looking at, we'll price it at about 15,000 baht a month, which is a good price. It's a... It's a decent price you get a really nice place for 15,000 um, and you get a pool and a gym and all the rest of it for 15,000 so we'll, we'll go and have a look at that I mean just by chance um, <clears throat> about oh, maybe a month or a few weeks ago uh, I did a video with the girls you know with um, Fern and V uh, 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 of a condo directly opposite the market here so I've just taken a little, a little clip of that and included it in this video so we can just have a look at the sort of thing we're talking about I mean uh, we'll go and have a look and see what you think okay in the meantime you can see all these uh, all this stuff on the left hand side it's all touristy stuff all touristy stuff um, you get a lot of families come here and it's very cheap to eat for families very cheap that's a typical family you see what I mean they come and they and they eat for, for next to nothing and buy knickknacks and whatever bags it's touristy things you know okay so that's uh the the market it, as far as the name's concerned it's actually you would call it the um the patia park market is what it's properly called so that's back on the bike down here you see this building on the right the white one with the a brown section to it this one 
this is where we're going to go and we're going to meet the girls because <laughs> they're going to take us into this condo which we went in a few weeks ago now this particular condo was um a two bedroom but we're not we're, we're not actually going to do it as a two bedroom because i know there's also one bedrooms available for fifteen thousand. so i've i've run it as though it was a one bedroom because the, the the size of the lounge is the same but, but it's just the one bedroom so i've skipped the second bedroom to give you a proper idea there's the market where we've just been across the road you see and there's patio park tower and this is soy six and soy six is not noisy by the way you, you get very little traffic on soy six but this is a sort of quality of um apartment or condo what you want to call it you can get for fifteen thousand, and you can cook <laughs> if you want to yeah or you can go across the road and go buy cheap food like those families but one of the things about living here is it really 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 is cheap uh, I mean, there are a couple of major factors which are co which are you know, cost a little bit more, and uh, one of those is the visas, which you have to pay an agent. Uh, you can do it yourself, but it's a real hassle. But you can if you want to. Uh, and the other one is health insurance, which is very expensive. And in fact, I've discussed this before with you. If you get older, uh, uh, you're pushing sort of pushing late 60s 70s i wouldn't even bother uh, if you if you have the money put aside like a million bar or something if you've got it into a bank and just have that as your health insurance that's your insurance because the, the prices are utterly outrageous as you get up pushing 70s you get higher and the higher 60s it's outrageous uh, <clears throat> anyway look at the the apartment don't you think it's lovely yeah i think it's great i mean uh this is the sort of thing y you have i mean i mean my apartment my condo where i live in pratham night not not this building a different building is very 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 similar to this um similar sort of size to, as a one bedroom and similar price i think i think i pay eighteen thousand. this is 15 well it would be 15 if it was a one bedroom but similar uh, see there, there you, you, we're, we're talking about costs. So the top one, fifteen thousand agents' fees. Yeah, two thousand baht a month. You're gonna you're gonna need that for uh, agency fees because the way it works is you, uh, when you first come here, you have to buy that sort of basically two visas together, um, uh, like an old visa and retirement visa together. Uh, and that covers you for 15 months the first 15 months and that's more expensive but then every month after that you renew it every one, once a year you renew it so i've just divided the cost of that renewal down to over a, a period of months and so say two thousand baht a month would be a fair cost um, to average it out over the year so that's a major factor and of course as i said before the um health insurance now up to you if you want to pay for health insurance if you're younger uh, then if you're just 50 and you're very healthy then it'll cost you around about 40,000 baht a, a year that sort of price 40 45,000 baht a year if you're older if you like 60 or more the price just starts to skyrocket and it, in my view it's better to self uh, self insure that's what I think. If you have the money, you can put aside. Anyway, that's up to you. Uh, so we, this is how close we are to the beach. See, this is Dong Tan Beach in front. Lovely, lovely beach. If you walk to the left, you've got to walk all through the trees with all those red flowers everywhere. It's really beautiful, really, really nice place. Um, yes, look at it, see? Now what we'll do we'll turn around oh before we do let me just show you this that road there is a beach road it runs all the way down Dung Tan Beach until it joins with uh, Jom Chien Beach it actually joins with it at where, where uh, Tapraya Road comes uh, comes to join the beach is where it joins uh, where, the, where that, that uh, multi-story 7-Eleven is if you know that so we'll just turn around now and we'll uh, We'll go back up, we'll, well, sorry, not back up, we'll go up 
soy 5. Now soy 5 is the main soy in, in, in this in, in Pratamrat. It's the one where all the bars are where in fact it actually has three gentlemen's clubs, can you believe it, on, on soy 5. Uh, I'll show you where they are. And um, lots of bars, lots of restaurants, lots of massage places, lots of normal shops. Uh, it's got a food court, it's got uh, a, a mini big sea, it's got all sorts of things here. It's really, really good place to live. If you, know, if, if you don't want to be slap bang in the middle of the city, which I don't, I prefer not to be. And I don't want, I don't, I'm not keen on Jum Tien because it's so quiet. And the east side, I don't even bother with the east side. I've been there, I've done that. I'm not interested in the east side, I'm afraid. That's just my, my view. Um, but if you look to the left hand side, you, you see the bar. You see Cobra Bar. If you look to the left, you see Venom. Venom is a gents club. Cobra Bar is a very nice bar. And then if you come up here, you've got restaurants on the left hand side. You've got that Cajun restaurant there, which is, which is beautiful food. Uh, and then you've got uh, massage places on the right, bars on the left. But everything you could possibly want, all on this section. Just further up, there's. Um, the Dom, Dom uh, Pizzeria, which is fabulous pizzas. Uh, on the left side, you've got the Hard Eight Bar, that one there. It's just open, see? That, that's a great bar. It has live music, uh, you, you know, regularly, a couple of times a week. Really good bands. Uh, on the right, you see that red sign with the D on it? That's the restaurant I was referring to, Dom Restaurant. Now, if we continue up here, uh, there's, on the left side, there's... Um, sort of some uh, new bars which have, uh, have they've built which are um, straw straw roofs and everything you'll, you'll see them they're quite unusual looking they're very popular you know you see you, you look in there you see it in the evening and so it's only about what just before the sun goes down it's around 5 five thirty now um, so <clears throat> but a little bit later it gets very busy um, and you see that building with the orange stripes on it. If you want to turn left there, that's the landmark. If you want to go to Cat Flaps, which is the second gentleman's club as you're coming <laughs> up the hill. <laughs> okay. Uh, which is just on the left hand side here. In fact, there's, uh, there's this one and then the next side, there's uh, another one as well. And then the next side, there's a, a market, which is really good. And there's a bar on the right, which I've, I have never seen before. Well, well I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, there's Cat Flaps, you see? That's become very popular recently. But it is good. It's very, very good. Uh, and some very nice stuff in there as well. I will spin it around and go back down the hill. Back to what? Uh, back to soy five. I'm mean, talking about bars. I mean, I, I, I did put the price of uh, two bottles of beer a day is what I put in for the figure. Now this is a minimum figure. Some people will not drink that much. Some will drink much more. So you have to adjust it according to yourself. That's a Pratham Night Night Market on the right, which has not really taken off yet i think it might do as more people come back it hasn't done yet it's still not 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 got it yet um so we turned left just opposite the night market there and we'll come up here and this is the one of the originals the most famous of all the gents clubs in the whole of Patia. Uh and that's kinnery kinnery is here that is kinnery there yeah i've shown you that before it isn't just that circular building, it runs right the way back. It's quite quite extensive actually, and it has many rooms and everything. So let's just spin it around again and come back to Soy 5. So as I was saying before about, about uh, bottles of beer, I mean, two bottles a day is probably not enough for some guys, but then other guys don't drink alcohol at all. Uh, for a few days and then have three or four bottles and then don't drink again for a few days so it could average out you know what I mean uh, in, in front on the corner is a mark uh, that's a little restaurant Thai restaurant very cheap very good food I've eaten there loads of times and here you have a little market you see uh, a guy there on the left cooking 
uh, kebabs or something. Uh, you see the market? The handy little market sells all sorts of knickknacks, all sorts of things there. Very, very handy. And it would continue down here and turn left with that. We then come from onto soy four. Now we left, so we started on soy six, we moved to soy five, and this is soy four. This is Pratamna. And the, the white building on the left side is a brand new row of shops, a whole row of shops that they've just finished building and they've let half of them and the other half are still to go. But there, there's florists, there's cafes, there's, you know, massage places and what have you already open, you know, and they've only been finished a matter of a week or two. I watched them build them, you know. Um, so um, uh, also you get laundries here. I mean, I, I put in the list uh, uh, 500 baht a month for laundry. Uh, some people will spend more than that, some won't spend much. I mean, you have a washing machine in your, in your room, you probably won't, won't need uh, the laundry very much. Um, and toiletries and things like that, like 800 baht, that, you, you're not going to spend much more on that, are you really? Um, and then, of course, like, like you co in your condo, you've got your Wi-Fi and cable TV. I put that in as a thousand, which is accurate. That's about right. You see the tops daily. If you that road there, if you turn left after the tops daily, that brings you down to cat flaps again, back onto so back towards soy five. Right here's the, the the list. I think we've been through most of it now, haven't we? Oh, motorbike fuel, yeah, eight hundred baht. Yeah, I mean that's uh, about what I what I spend. I don't spend more than that. You'd also see there's a, an optional additional costs of 2,000 baht every time, each time. You know what that is. I don't need to go into it. Uh, <coughs> but that's not including bar fines and um, lady drinks and everything. That's like for freelancers or something like that. Or Thai friendly, so that sort of thing. Uh, bar fines and what have you will be extra. Anyway, guys, please subscribe, like, share, ring the bell, and have a look at Patreon on all the Soy 6 videos and the, uh, the videos about um, Jets Clubs. And tell me what you think about the chart. Is it accurate? Do you think I've, <laughs> I've covered everything? Everything on a, on a minimum level.